everybody. Today I'm going to turn your NAS box into a multimedia server. Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So normally when we're talking about our NAS boxes, we're talking about using them to back up files and how to turn them into raids so that your, your data is protected. But what I wanted to do uh, this week was take a step back and have a little fun and show you guys how to set up your NAS box to be a multimedia server for things like media players or digital uh, picture frames or, or even for iTunes on your computer. So what we need to do is we need to go into the interface of the NAS box, turn on the iTunes server, turn on the UPnP AV server, and then I'm going to go over a little bit on BitTorrent to show you how to download movies and music on your own. So let's go do that. So the first thing that I did was I created a multimedia folder on my network attached storage that has a music, photos, and video folder that contain um, my multimedia files. So then the next thing we want to do is log into our network attached storage, go to configuration, to advanced, and then on the side here you'll see UPnP AV server. And what you want to do is you want to enable it and then you don't want people to get access to your root directory. So I uncheck that box and then I can browse to the multimedia folder that I had created before. Select that and then scroll down and click OK. Then save the settings. Now that has, uh, that will work for the computer, media players and um, digital photo frames. Uh, for iTunes, you want to click the iTunes server button underneath the UPnP AV server, enable it, and then browse to the music folder in your uh, multimedia file, and then save the settings. To add BitTorrent capabilities to your NAS box, start by downloading the latest Easy Search utility and running it. Once it comes up, you should see your NAS box. Go ahead and highlight it and then click the BitTorrent button and it'll automatically add the software to your uh, network attached storage. Once it's done, all you have to do is log in to the Downloads button on your NAS box and then click the BitTorrent um, link at the top. Now there's two different ways that you can download BitTorrents. You can do it um, using a URL or the way I'm going to do it is by using a file. So if you just change the checkbox here at the bottom to add torrent from file, you can browse to where your file is at, open it up, and then click the add button. Then to get the torrent started, all you have to do is click the start button and it will automatically download in the background. You don't even have to leave your computer on, it will just go ahead and keep going until it's done. So now that we have our NAS box set up so that it will serve multimedia files, let's go ahead and take a look and see how we can get those files onto our digital picture frame, a media player, or our computer. So on our digital picture frame, all we need to do is turn it on and it will default to the internal memory. Just go over to the home network and then there you'll see the network attached storage. If I press enter there, now it will show me my videos, photos, and music folders. So if I go into the photos, I can go into all photos, and it's going to show me the photos that are in that photos folder on the network attached storage. Once they're loaded, I just press the enter button, and then it'll go through a slideshow and show me all of the cool pictures that I downloaded. Press the setup button on the remote, and then go down to system, then scroll down to view all servers. Now it'll go out and find any UPnP AV servers. And since we've turned the UPnP AV server on our NAS box, it shows up. Now there's our photos, videos, and music. You can just go in, select the music that you want to listen to, and play it just like it was serving it off of your computer rather than the NAS box. For the computer, you'll be able to open up iTunes and then you will see your shared storage is already here and then it'll populate itself with the songs. So as you can see, a network attached storage device is really one of the coolest products that you can have on your network. 
it backs up your stuff, it can download things off the internet, and it can serve up multimedia files to your PC and your media players and things like that. So that's gonna do it for this week of Dealing TV DIY. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.